All right, so let's solve a problem which appeared in JE Advanced 2024. In this question, there is an expression given with certain conditions that x is lying between pi by 2 to pi, meaning that it is lying in the second quadrant, and cortex is having a value of minus 5 by root 11. And then there's a big expression given that sine of 11x by 2 is multiplied to sine 6x minus cos 6x plus cos 11x by 2 is multiplied to this. Then the value of this will be equal to what? So if you look at this expression closely, right, if you just expand it, what you get here is that sine of 11x by 2 into sine of 6x and then minus sine of 11x by 2 into cos 6x. And then you can get, I'll just write this down below. So cos of 11x by 2 into sine 6x and then plus cos 11x by 2 into cos 6x. So once you see this, then you would be able to see that if you club this and this together, this and this, and this and this, then you get some sort of a formula, right? So this will be cos 11x by 2 into cos 6x plus sin 11x by 2 into sin 6x. And then <clears throat> plus sin 6x into cos 11x by 2. And then minus sin 11x by 2 into cos 6x. Now what do you, what do you do after this? So this is just a formula like cos a into cos b plus sin a into sin b, which will be cos a minus b, which can be written as cos 6x minus 11x by 2. And this is again sine A into cos B minus cos A into sine B, which you can write it as sine A minus B. So sine 6x minus 11x by 2. Once you do this, then this will become 6x into 2, which is 12 minus 11x, which is 1. So this will become cos of x by 2. And then this will become sine of x by 2, right? So this big expression is now resolved to this small expression. So but after this, we still have to find out something with this given value. Cortex is minus 5 by root 11. And this is cortex, this is cos x by 2 and sin x by 2. So what do I do? So generally, when we have this, right, uh, you know that I can make use of this identity. And then the only thing which you can think of looking at it is can be square it. So we'll just assume this to be a certain value, let's say a. And then if I square it on both sides, so the idea is to find out the value of a itself. So when we square it on both sides, this will become cos square x by 2 plus sin square x by 2. And this will become 2 cos x by 2 into sin x by 2. And this will become a square. Now this quantity will become 1. And this is 2 sin a into cos a, which will become sin 2a. Or you could write it as sin 2 times x by 2. Right? And that is equal to a square. So what I got is a square as 1 plus sin x. Now, this is easy to find because now what we can do is look, look at cortex. Cortex is nothing but minus root 5 by 11. So we can understand, of course, this is in second quadrant. And second quadrant cortex will be negative, but sin x will be positive. So I'll anyways make use of this triangle and then say that this is based upon perpendicular right so this will be root 5 and this will be 11 now i need to find out the hypotenuse which is 11 so so i think this value is wrong here this is not 5 by uh, so this is what i have written wrongly i was thinking because um minus 5 by root 11 okay so this is root 11 this is 5 so this is 5, oops, this is 5. So this is based upon perpendicular. Now I can find out the hypotenuse by squaring this, which is root 11 is square plus 5 is square. So hypotenuse square is going to be equal to this, which is 11 plus 25, which is 36. So H will come out to be 6. So H will be 6. 
Now what will be sin x? Sin x will be perpendicular upon hypotenuse, which is root 11 by 6. So this is 6 plus root 11 by 6. All right. Now I need to find out a, not this, right? So basically this a should be actually equal to square root of 6 plus root 11 by 6, right? So here is where we will be thinking and getting stuck as in like, how do I find the square root of it, right? Because this is not something which we have learned. And again, if you keep finding the square root, maybe it will get into like a bigger problem. As in, in general, when you try to find out the square root of it, you assume it to be equal to root A plus root B. Then you would be doing this as in like, this is how you do it. Like you assume this to be root A plus root B. And as they are both equal, then you'll square on both sides and then we'll try to compare. That is what you do. So you can do this as well. So this is square root of this and this is root A plus root B is what you'll be assuming. And then you square it on both sides. Then this is what it was, right? 6 plus or other you can write it as 1 plus root 11 by 6. And this will turn out to be A plus B plus 2 root AB, right? So after this, what we say is that we sort of compare it and say that this is A plus B is actually equal to 1. And then 2 root AB is actually equal to root 11 by 6. Again, you try to sort of square it and then you will get 4 times AB equals to 11 by 36. Okay, so AB will be something like 11 upon 144. Mm, yeah, 144. So either you try to again get it to substitute this and then you write A and then you try solving it as like 144 times AB. A will be equal to 1 minus B, right? So you can do this. A is actually equal to 1 minus B into B equals to 11. And then you try resolving it again. So this will be minus 144 B squared. So this is like a longish method. I mean, we can have a very small method as well, which I will just tell you in a bit. And then this will be minus uh, 11 as well. So this is 144, this is plus B, and this is minus 11, right? So after this, you could solve it, but this is just going a little longer and you can keep solving it and you can find this. But I mean, there is a trick to it as in other thing is that if you think of this and then say, you multiply numerator and denominator by two. This is two times six plus root 11 upon two times six, right? So this will become 12 plus root 11 upon 12 and square root of that. And then you can write this as one plus root 11 whole squared and plus two times, two times one into root 11 upon 12. So this is nothing but one plus root 11 whole squared upon 12, right? So you can get this as one plus root 11 and this will be two root three. So that is what will be your answer. This is one way as in, and after this, uh, you can do this way, long way as well, which I kind of abandoned. And then there is a third way as well. Once you get to this, what you think of here is, okay, I got this. So instead of like trying to find the square root, I've got few of the options here. I do the square and then see what happens. So you just pick this and then you do a square of it. So root 11 plus one upon two root three and you just square it because that is what should be equal to a square. So this will be 11 plus one plus two root 11 upon 12. And you will find that this will be 12 plus two root 11 upon 12. And then you take two common. So this will be six plus root 11 by 12. And this is what you get six plus root 11 by six itself so this was uh, this is much easier to sort of actually square each of them and try to compare that to find out the square root if you if you, this clicks to you that okay multiplying and dividing by two will make it a perfect square then you go ahead and do it so in general like whenever you got something like this and you got to find out the square root of it you try to say that can you make it a perfect square and then try to find out the um solution to it okay so yeah, that is all for this question. Uh, only thing which we had to do was from here, uh, get to this level. And then we had to again think that how do I get uh, something in terms of whole angle, not the half angle. And the only way to get to the whole angle was to sort of square it and get to this. Once you get to the whole angle, then 
you can again make use of cortex and then you'll be able to find the values so why did i make use of i mean why did i use sin x as positive because sin x will be positive in the second quadrant so instead of using a negative value i used a positive one over here all right so yeah that's all for this question if you got any queries do ask me in the comment section below and i'll be happy to answer your queries thank you so much for watching this video have a good day